Hi, and welcome to Fire Tech Talk. I'm your host, Sean Kelly, and today we are speaking with Terry Victor, Senior Manager of Industry Relations at Johnson Controls Fire Protection, about NFPA 915 and how remote inspections are shaping the industry. Terry, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me, Sean. It's a privilege to be able to do this interview with you and hopefully teach everybody a little bit about what NFPA 915 is all about. Wonderful. Well, let's get to it. Sure. Terry, will you tell us a little bit about the draft standards, such as the basic layout of the chapters and what they cover? Sure, Sean. Um, NFPA 915, as it was originally intended, was to be a document for authorities having jurisdiction. Um, and what they would do is find a way in which they can perform inspections without having to go directly to the site. Sometimes it's a reinspection. sometimes it's just something that um, doesn't necessitate traveling hundreds of miles to get to a site. So this document was developed and it's a draft standard right now with NFPA. That means it's, there's no document on the street just yet. But as a committee, we put together eight chapters of what we thought were necessary to be within this document. Now with every NFPA document, the first three chapters are the same. It's always administration and then reference publications and then definitions. And then we start chapter four with general requirements. And we have different sections, different chapters related to how you perform remote inspections, what the responsibilities are for the people performing them, what sort of devices can be used and what sort of formats can be used to perform remote inspections, and then what happens to the content once the remote inspection is performed. Who, who owns it? How is it to be retained? How is it to be transmitted? So forth. So basically that's the, the layout of NFPA, the new proposed NFPA 915. Great, that's really interesting. Terry, if someone is interested in viewing the draft standard of 915, where can they find it? Well, any person, and you don't have to be a member of NFPA necessarily to do this, you go to the NFPA website, and it's nfpa.org. And when you go to nfpa.org, you hit, uh, there's a tab there that says standards. And under that tab of standards, you go to a list of standards. And in that list, you'll find NFPA 915. When you click on that NFPA 915 standard, it'll open up, it'll show you the, what the draft document looks like, and there's some other information there that'd be helpful to people who's inter who are interested in this new standard. Okay, great. When will the 915 standard be issued and can it be used in its draft form? It'll be issued in sometime in 2023. So if everything goes according to plan, then there's a vote on the standard that'll come up at the NFPA technical meeting in uh, June of 2023. And then it would go to the Standards Council for adoption that August of 2023. And then if they agree, everybody agrees that this is ready for prime time, then it gets released as the 2024 edition. Now, if someone wants to use it now, um, the authority having jurisdiction can certainly say, you know, I want to use what's in the proposed standard right now. And, um, you know, they have the authority in most cases to implement those kind of um, actions towards even reference standards or proposed standards. So I would say yes, there's, there's guidance there that people can use today. Hey, wonderful. Did the pandemic cause a sudden interest in remote inspections and testing? Oh, you bet, Sean. I mean, there were people scrambling as to how they're going to get you know, inspections performed when COVID, you know, restrictions where you can't go in buildings in, certain, in some cases, or you can't, um, you know, go to a job site without having certain protections and so forth. So the pandemic really brought this front and center, and people found out very innovative ways of performing remote inspections using, you know, things like FaceTime and um, MS Teams and, and the things that are out there for uh, doing video conferencing and so forth. Uh, AHJs were looking for some means they can still continue to do their inspections and NFPA 915 was front and center with some guidance for them. Okay, so really accelerated this move. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What impact does a labor shortage at the service company level and at the AHJs have on the need for remote monitoring and inspecting? Well, it seems like everything that COVID has brought into our industry, NFPA 915 is, is taking on to be able to address. And with these labor shortages, it will allow more inspections to be done if they're done remotely. 
you know, obviously, again, you, you take the windshield time out of having to go and perform an inspection on site. And if you have qualified people sitting in front of a computer and live streaming an inspection to that, uh, to that HJ or whoever is witnessing the inspection, then obviously you've saved travel time, you've saved, uh, you know, just a lot of um, labor. You know, NFPA 915 has, has really accelerated the use of these technologies because of labor shortages, people, uh, they just, they have the opportunity now of not having to go to the job sites, not having to spend that windshield time trying to get to job sites. And it's, and sometimes it's, it's even more accurate to be able to perform it and in some cases record it so you have it for the records. So labor shortage is something that NFPA 915 will certainly bring to the forefront as an advantage for this standard and even the inspectors themselves. Um, they will be able to do more work with, in less time because of remote inspections. Well, that makes perfect sense. What do you see the future looking like in 2023 when the standard gets officially issued? Well, Sean, that's the challenge because we really don't know what technologies are gonna be invented or used between now and, and 2023 when this document is released. We anticipate there's gonna be technologies that we haven't even thought of, but what we're doing within the document is allowing any new technology that comes along to be used for these remote inspections. So, you know, there may be something better than FaceTime to perform remote inspections or better than MS Teams. There may be devices out there, you know, better than your cell phone or better than, you know, a camera to witness these remote inspections. But th the standard will allow whatever technology happens to come down the pike between now and then. Okay, so it allows the use of technology, but it can be adapted as that technology changes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Terry, this conversation has been wonderful. We've covered so much information. We're going to actually need to break this up into two parts. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Sean. I really appreciate you having me, and I, I enjoyed sharing information about NFPA 915. Wonderful. We hope you've enjoyed this Fire Tech Talk. Please be sure to subscribe to the Brooks YouTube channel, and we'll see you for part two.